Dragon, SpaceX, for possible conjunction. Yes, Sarah, go ahead. For awareness, we have identified a late-breaking possible conjunction with a fairly close miss distance to Dragon. As such, we do need you to immediately proceed with suit donning and securing yourselves in seats. Um, we will be erring on the side of caution to get you guys into a better configuration. The time of closest approach for this event is at 17.43. Uh, copy, Sarah. You want us in the suit for a possible uh, close call of a... Okay, we're getting in the suit and uh, we copy all. Copy to Ma. Additionally, we will be bringing cameras back on board for awareness. You just heard a call from the core to the crew aboard Crew Dragon. Uh, they were in their sleep or pre-sleep period getting ready for bed, but they've asked them to don their suits or put on those suits uh, in preparation for a possible maneuver to avoid conjunction, uh, meaning that there may be something that could come in contact with the Crew Dragon. Of course, they are going to monitor that and, uh, if need be, take any action, but they expect the closest approach from that object would be at uh, 1743 GMT, so 1043 AM Pacific time. So we'll be standing by and monitoring that as uh, as it approaches but currently the crew is getting back in their suits they as mentioned want to err on the side of caution um, and uh, as they continue to monitor that uh, that possible conjunction As we were just discussing, the crew is donning their suits. They were originally in their pre-sleep period. Uh, however, putting those suits back on and getting into their seats uh, because there is a potential conjunction. They are uh, not planning to do a maneuver, but just donning their suits in case, erring on the side of caution. Uh, we are tracking this and we will keep you up to date as soon as we know more details. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining our continuous coverage of Crew Dragon's journey to the International Space Station after launching at 5.49 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. Crew Dragon uh, has completed their first burn, and we have received information that there is probability of conjunction, meaning that there may be something coming in contact with the vehicle. So the crew was initially in their pre-sleep period and have been asked to don their suits out of caution. Uh, they will be in their suits and seats. Uh, the closest this object will come to Crew Dragon will occur at 10.43 a.m. Pacific time or 17.43 GMT. So we are standing by. Uh, there will not be a maneuver performed by Crew Dragon at this time. Dragon, SpaceX, no response required. Eight minutes to TCA. Endeavor copies TLC is suited and seated. Commander is uh, suited and getting seated, and our MSs are getting in their suits now. Copy all, Megan. Thank you. That was the core here in Hawthorne speaking with pilot Megan MacArthur on Crew Dragon Endeavor, mentioning the TCA, the time of closest approach that could come at 10.43 a.m. Pacific time, 17.43 
uh, GMT and Megan MacArthur reporting back that she and Commander Shane Kimbrough are in their suits and seats and that Mission Specialist Tama Pesquet and Aki Hoshide are taking their seats as well. The crew has been asked to do this as a precaution. We are standing by as they continue to track this, uh, this object. Dragon SpaceX, for awareness, we will be taking commands to power on the suit fan for you. Copy. Hi, everyone. For awareness, a late-breaking potential conjunction was identified with a high uncertainty. We are tracking that potential conjunction, the uh, time of closest approach being at 1743 GMT or 1043 AM Pacific time, so coming up in about five minutes now. We just heard the core call to the crew that they're turning on their suit fans, uh, going to keep them cool. As the crew is now in their suits and in their seats as a precaution. We're standing by to learn more about what this potential object is or the size, and we will report to you as soon as possible. Hi, everyone. We are tracking a potential conjunction, a piece of debris that has the chance to come in close proximity to Crew Dragon. Uh, the crew are seated and in their suits. They will be asked to lower their visors as a precaution. This uh, time of closest approach of this piece of debris Time of closest approach could come up in about one minute, 10.43 a.m. Pacific time, 17.43 GMT. Dragon SpaceX, for awareness, we believe the con object is farther away than anticipated, lower risk of possible conjunction, um, but please ensure visors are closed and zippers are closed prior to TCA in approximately 20 seconds. And Sarah, we copy the uh, object is farther than predicted, and you want us uh, zippers closed and visors down at this time. Good read back, Megan. Okay, so we're finishing up zippers now. SpaceX Endeavor, we are visors closed and zipped up. Endeavor, we copy for awareness. TCA is in the next minute, so we will just keep you in this configuration for now. Copy. Hi, everyone. We're standing by for the time of closest approach for a possible conjunction or piece of debris that may come in close proximity with Crew Dragon Endeavor. The crew has been informed that the piece of debris is uh, further away than initially expected. However, the crew are in their suits and seats. They've been asked to lower their visors and make sure their suits are zipped. This is necessary to pressurize the Dragon suits. SpaceX, we have passed TCA with no impact. Sarah, I think you said uh, that we've passed the object. Is that correct? Affirm, Megan. And at this time, we can go to proceed to deconfigure from suited configuration. We copy that, Sarah. We will begin suit doffing.
and Dragon SpaceX for awareness. We will be going external with cameras again as you doff. Copy. Hi, everyone. Thanks for continuing uh, watching our coverage of Crew 2 in uh, Crew 2 Dragon Endeavor's journey to the International Space Station. We were informed of a potential conjunction with Crew Dragon, meaning that a piece of debris may have come in close uh, contact with the vehicle. However, time of closest approach has passed. The crew were instructed to put their suits back on and uh, lower those visors. Dragon, no response required. Video is exterior. Copy. They were asked to lower their visors on their suits as well as make sure they were zipped. This all done out of an overabundance of caution. Uh, the crew were in their seats, and as time of closest approach has passed, the, uh, we will continue to track that debris to see if there's any chance it may show up on radar again. We're also working to find out more information about exactly what that piece of debris might have been. We will share more as we're able. The piece of debris was uh, further from the Crew Dragon than initially anticipated. And as we mentioned, the astronauts suited up and got back in their seats out of an overabundance of caution. Time of closest approach has now passed. We continue to track that piece of debris. And we will keep you informed as we find out more information about what that might have been.